Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquas. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your love and support. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your comments and your feedback down below. And welcome, Aquarius. Welcome to the ones that are new here. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Definitely, if today's reading resonates for you don't forget to like subscribe we would love to have you here part of the family as well all right so no further ado aquas we're going to go ahead and dive into your general love reading definitely take care of what resonates for you please and leave on the table what does not okay so no further ado aquas let's dive in we're going to see what's going on in your love life what you need to know if there's new coming in we're going to see if that's new coming in and then we're going to clarify with some tarot, all right? So let's see what's coming towards you for love, all right? What's going on in Aquarius placements, love, life, guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light? We're going to give an oracle card here to start off your reading to see what's going on in your love life here. Thank you. Oh, okay, we have reconciling here. Someone from your past, Aquarius, is returning to your love life. Okay, wow. So this could be an ex of yours recently here during this lifetime. Or this could be someone returning from your past life when you reincarnated from your past into this lifetime. Okay, so we're going to get into it and clarify and see. All right, and wow, at the bottom of the deck here, we have wedding. This situation involves marriage, okay? Wow, so some of you all could recently be in a marriage, okay? You could be married right now. Um, others of you all, this person that you maybe be dating or talking to, maybe was involved in a marriage here, okay? Um, let's see, let's get into it. Morning angels, ancestors, what do we have for Aquarius placements when it comes to their love life? What's going on in Aquarius's love life here? Why do we have someone is coming from your past into your life and waiting? Okay, so yes, yeah, someone could definitely be in a marriage, involved in a marriage, or this connection here. From this person that's returning to your life, it can involve and have potential for you two to be married, okay? So, let's see. What's going on in Aquarius' love life here? What do we have for Aquarius? Justice. Yeah, I feel like whatever this is that you were not treated fairly in Aquarius... You're now about to get justice for that, okay? This could be with the Libra, all right? Or this could be a Pisces. We got the hangman here. I see you now got a different perspective of things, Aquarius. You're looking at this situation totally different now, okay? So you're looking at this Libra or this Pisces in a different way. What else? Corn angels, ancestor, whoever this person here is. We got Pisces, Cancer, energy here as well. Also Scorpio. Then we got the moon card. All right. So I feel like you're not seeing things as an illusion anymore. You now see the truth. So let's clarify the cards here. Why do we have justice here? Why do we have justice here? We got the star card one to come out. We got the Emperor here, the Five of Wands, and then we have the Page of Wands for justice. So this is what you were conflicted about. This person is trying to reach out to you, right? This could be your Divine Masculine or this could be your Divine Feminine, the Emperor, the Empress. But you're conflicted about this person because I feel like they haven't addressed the elephant in the room with this Moon card over here. So let's see what are you seeing from a different perspective. You may be seeing from a different perspective for Aquarius because the fact that this person don't want to 
uh, man up or woman up and be honest about the situation that they treated you unfair in. And that is allowing you to more see different from this person. You don't see this person the same, or you can't even have respect for this person because they can't held themselves accountable here in this situation. This could be a fire sign as well. We got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here as well. And again, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Clarify the hangman for Aquarius. Why do we have the hangman here? Why do we have the hangman here? We got the nine of wands. Yeah, you're realizing that this connection with this person, you have to now set boundaries for this person. You're about ready to put this to an end. Clarify the moon card, please. Why do we have the moon card here? What is these secrets? Too many secrets. Too much lies. One card, please. Clarify secrets, the moon card. Why we have the moon card here? The queen of wands. So you felt like this woman was lying to you? Some of you are, you want to take action here and move on. But you want to do it in secret. For some of you are, you want to move in silence. Yeah, the six of wands. You may be seen or known in the public for whatever it is that you do. So you may want to move in silence. Yeah, we got the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you found out the truth about this person. You realize that everything was an illusion here. It wasn't real. Yeah, and this is what kept you stuck in this situation here. Some of y'all, you feel like you made a bad investment here. Let's see what this person here wants to say. You felt limited in this relationship. You felt like you wasn't able to evolve and expand here. You always felt stuck in this situation here. We have, I will make it up. I will make it all up for you. And it's like, now this person wants to come in and try to fix the situation. This is the problem where... You're not able to, you know, shape the fact that this person didn't want to address this in the first place. So it has you looking at this person differently. I can't help the way I feel. Mm -hmm. So while we got Leo here, okay, and then we have Taurus here. These cards wasn't even supposed to be in my deck, but I'm sure those energies could be significant for someone. Leo and a Taurus. We have a fuck that I'm fighting for you. Yeah, it's like this person knows that you are out the door. Literally, this person knows that you are definitely out the door. So, yeah, this person could be an Aries. We have Aries there. And then we have I feel my best around you. Wow. Wow, Aquarius. That is what we have here for you. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. However, if you would love to book a personal reading with me, all my details are down below in the description box. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I definitely look forward to your next energy check-in. And definitely come and check us out on Patreon for more content from this channel. I love you, Aquas. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.